Oh, that is so clean. What's up guys, good morning and welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Eddie, hope you all having a good day today. So in today's episode, we're actually gonna be diving into how to vinyl wrap some stripes on your car. That way you can live freely, be your own, and be entirely different and stand out from the rest of them. I got asked a few times in the DMs how I actually got those clean lines on my hood and how I did the stripe and I always go over that, but here goes that video. And I'm gonna take you guys along my journey, my process, and what I did to wrap mines and make my stripes nice and clean. Cause if you don't know, you, we're not gonna be using any razor blades to make those long lines. Of course, we're gonna use a razor blade to make some cuts. We're actually not gonna be using a heat gun either. So if you're a DIYer and you live in the city or you don't have a garage that has electricity, but you wanna wrap your car and know that the wrap is gonna stay and you're gonna be able to work with it, then unless you're doing a bumper, that's when you need a heat gun. If you're just doing some stripes and that's what today's video is about, then you'll be good to go. You won't need a heat gun and you'll be able to do the work nice and easy. So let your creativity come to life. You know, body work and things of that nature is not really my field, but of course, rapping is really not that hard, guys. And once you get the hang of it, it definitely is one, two, three. So I just wanted to shoot this quick introduction on top of what I already filmed, because when I made the video initially, and yes, guys, it's on the old camera setup, so please bear with that. And yes, this wasn't a planned out video. This was a quick shoot right before the gym, and I just personally felt like getting it done. So I picked up the camera while I was there, hit the record button and shot the video. So it's not so glamorous like my other videos in the sense that there's crazy angles and stuff. It was me just literally applying things and getting it done. Cause even though I did say, I'm gonna go ahead and leave the paint work for last, any designs, I decided, you know what? The 350Z is up and running and feeling like a like new model. So I was like, you know what? Even though the paint is bad, tape lines and damage everywhere, I was like, let's just add a little touch just to make it a little different and make it look a little better than the way it looks right now, just to bring it to life. And of course, welcome to my journey. If you're not following my build slash restoration, then definitely go ahead and follow me on IG. That way you can stay up to date in regards to the build. And if you're new to the channel, definitely consider smashing that subscribe button, cause yes, we have a lot more mod and DIY content coming your way. If you already subscribed, thank you so much for the ongoing support. If you found this video helpful at all, definitely go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. So guys, let's rewind in time and I'll see you in the video. And I hope you find some information helpful. Now you can have fun, be different and make your car your own. Now let's bring your creativity to life and enjoy the video. I was gonna head to the gym when I was like, you know what? Let me see if we can do the split that I wanted to on the hood with my gloss black film. Cause as you guys know in my previous video, we did the tint, came out pretty good. And we also did the reflectors. Now, playing with the reflectors, it was a lot more easy than doing the tint on the headlight itself. So with that said, what we're doing right now is we're actually gonna go ahead and try to do this part because it looks a lot more easier. And then I'll go over to the roof. Essentially, this is one item that I always wanted to tackle since I got the car. Basically highlight this nice angle right here. So we're gonna go ahead and tackle that part right now. Let's go ahead and grab the film. This is the bad boy right here. This is from Vivid Film. If I said that right, let me see here. Anyway, so you guys have the paper and can see it. Vivid. What we're gonna do right now real quick is just clean the surface cause it is a little dusty. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I'm gonna go ahead and just clean up the surface real quick. That way we can have a nice prep surface. And then we're gonna put our outlines with some finish line tape cause we're not gonna use a razor blade. And then we'll just cut what we need and take it from there. So to prep the surface, what I'm using is this prep spray from Duplicolor. Go ahead, just shake it up for about a minute. Honestly, I wish I would have cleaned the car, but that's gonna take way too long to then let it dry and make sure it dries correctly. We'll be here all day, so. All right, so now that's good. Let's go ahead and spray it down. We got our microfiber cloth over here. One thing I do wish I had right now is a tack cloth, but that's all right. Get under here. 
Alright guys, so now we're gonna go ahead and do the design line. I bought a lot of this because not for nothing, I feel like I may get into some wrapping after doing the tents and the little reflectors, so I enjoy the process. So yeah, I got this here. Instead of using a razor blade, you can use this. Make it cuts a lot more nicer. All right guys, and this is what you get. We're pretty much good to go. Now we gotta cut the vinyl. So, here we are. I know you guys can't see it because of the weather and the darkness. Sorry I don't have a shot, but yeah. Let's give this baby a go and let's see how it looks. So I just have to measure how much I'm using real quick because I'm doing the roof with the same wrap. You always want to double check your work, guys. What they say, cut once, measure twice. So now let's just put this back where we got it from. Perfect. Awesome. Perfect. Start to save this one of the roof. Nice. Here we go. Once again, guys, I'm no expert, let me tell you. But I get things done. Sometimes extremely professional. It's not bad. on the camera but yeah it's raining today Right here because at the end of the day I can use this for something else. But tell me that is not looking nice. Oh, that looks so beautiful. Put a lace in it. Let's just save it. Yep, that could definitely be used. Yeah, we 
provide a nice gliding surface as well. So now that that's done, it's now folded over. We're gonna go ahead and take off the knife with tape and cut it out. So as you can see, I just separated the knifeless tape here. What we're gonna do is go ahead and pull this up all the way through. Not for nothing, I should have given it a long piece right here. Make sure it's tight as you go along. Yeah, I'm using the bicycle. Alright, let's see how this side came out. Are you guys excited? I am. <laughs> Alright, I just need my razor blade for that end over there. So what do you guys think? I think it's pretty legit. What? Damn. I just wanted to show you guys how it is and how easy it is to apply on the hood. Of course, the roof should be about the same. The slight curvature, but just tackle it little by little and you'll be good to go. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial or this part of my journey, the vehicle wrap. If you liked it and you found it helpful, definitely give it a big thumbs up. And also, if you're not part of the vlogs, if you're not part of the build, definitely consider subscribing. Hit that subscribe button below. Join the builds, join the vlogs, and of course, let's have a good time together. Drop a comment below if you have any questions or comments. And like always, think for the future, enjoy your present, and don't focus too much on the past. Peace.